Ever wonder what it's like to live like a prince and princess? Who are we kidding? Of course you have. Most modern day royal families still live better than 99.9% .9 of the rest of us. I mean, Queen Elizabeth II spends her days at six different properties. Then there's the other members of her family, like the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, perhaps better known as Prince William and Princess Kate Middleton. We were friends for over a year first. We just spent more time with each other and had a, a good giggle had lots of fun and realized we shared the same interests and just, you know, had a really good time. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. These two are lucky enough to own two different properties that they split their time between alongside their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. A few years ago, they began growing their family out of Kensington Palace, where they live in the flat known as Apartment 1A. But world events and the ongoing lockdown have this couple spending the majority of the past year and quite possibly the near future at their second home located at Anmer Hall. How's it going guys and gals? It's Kara back at it again with a brand new house tour. This one, taking a look at the two homes of Prince William and Princess Kate Middleton, here for you on Famous Entertainment. If you like this video, be sure to check out the one we just did on Prince Harry. Harry and Meghan Markle's new multi-million dollar home in Montecito, California. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. We'll kick things off with a look at the family's original starter home located in Unit 1A of Kensington Palace. Way back when, Kensington Palace was a two-story mansion built in 1605 in the village of, you guessed it, Kensington. The home would later be purchased in 1619 by the first Earl of Nottingham and become known at the time as Nottingham House. After King William and Queen Mary assumed the throne as joint monarchs in 1689, the home began their residence as the climate there better suited the sickly William. Over the centuries, it would house countless members of the royal family, including Queen Victoria when she was still only a child. It was while living at this palace that Victoria met Prince Albert and learned of her own takeover of the throne in June of 1837. When she finally left Kensington for Buckingham, Queen Victoria admitted that she would miss the poor old palace that she had spent so much time growing up in. Fast forward a hundred years or so later and Prince William and Princess Kate aren't the only ones living here. The Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, the Duchess and Duke of Kent, as well as Prince and Princess Michael of Kent all call this palace's royal apartments home. This is even the first time that Prince William has lived here. Back when he was just a child, he stayed here with his brother Harry as well as his mom and dad throughout most of the 80s and 90s. Then when he married Kate, this became their starter home and they moved in during 2017. Now calling this an apartment is misleading because they are not what your average North American might think of when they hear the term apartment. Most of Kensington Palace is composed of red brick terrace houses that while connected serve as their own fully functioning homes. Apartment 1A where Kate and William live is a four-story building with 20 rooms, including five reception rooms, three main bedrooms, multiple dressing rooms, a night and day nursery, as well as its very own staff quarters. Not really the apartment you were thinking of, is it? Due to this being primarily a private residence, detailed looks at the interior of their home are few and far between. But when President Obama visited their pad in 2016, a number of pics were taken that give us a taste of the prince and princess's home life. For example, Prince William has a working space with with an antique style desk lamp alongside a gorgeous fireplace and mirror combo set into the back of the room. Their drawing room is spacious enough for several guests and sports a sophisticated cream color scheme with gold accents, while their living room offers plenty of plush cream sofas with an added splash of color from the floral cushions. Kate even converted one of the rooms into her own personal newsroom for when she worked as a guest editor at Huffington Post and decorated her workspace with dark furniture and gorgeous artwork that hangs on the wall. Beyond the private apartments, there are some areas of Kensington open for public viewing and three of the most popular areas are undoubtedly the King's Staircase, which leads up to the King's State Apartments, as well as the Presence Chamber, where former monarchs have received courtiers, ministers, and foreign ambassadors. But most impressive of all has to be what's referred to as the Cupola Room, which creates a visual style that personifies the Georgian age. So while you might not get to see the inside of Kate and William's home, at least a visit 
won't go completely to waste should you decide to stop by. Next, let's check out Animer Hall, Prince William and Princess Kate's summer home that's currently acting more like their permanent one. After William and Kate tied the knot in 2011, Queen Elizabeth gifted the couple this country estate, which is not too far away from where the Queen likes to spend most of her own holidays at Sandringham House. The current building was constructed in the 18th century and features two stories, along with an attic. Out front, the long exterior of the home comprises 13 bays and was refaced with red bricks in 1815. 13 ground floor windows are set into arches, and a semicircular porch can be seen with two Tuscan columns. Further renovations that went down in 1900 added a brick exterior to the north of the building and a projecting entrance porch, along with a tower toward the eastern end. Reports suggest that the home features as many as 10 bedrooms on the inside. Prior to recent world events, the family would use this property during school breaks and for weekends as well as the holidays. Over the past few years, Kate has said that she feels the most at home when living here, and the family has had many photo shoots here as well, including the portrait for their 2018 Christmas card. When Kate and William inherited the home, Kate decided to take on the interior decorating challenge herself. Simon Knight, owner of nearby rug store, told People Magazine. Instead of hiring a royal interior designer, she wants to furnish it in her own style because she wants this to be her own family home. A renovation also happened in which the roof was completely retiled and a sunlit garden room was added to one side of the house with a covered patio for extra privacy and protection from the British climate. To increase their privacy even further, more trees were planted all around the property and the driveway was moved so that the public entrance was turned into a private one, accessible only by the Duke and Duchess. As tennis lovers, the duo also upgraded their tennis court as well with all new astro turf and bordered it with a copper beach hedge. Finally, this sprawling Georgian estate also contains its very own outdoor swimming pool and is surrounded by acres of parkland which makes it perfect for playtime with the kids. Ever since the UK entered lockdown, the Duke and Duchess have chosen to ride out the storm from this lavish property, which offers them far more privacy than Kensington does. And you know, William and Kate love their privacy. But if you're lucky enough, you might spot Kate dropping the kids off at nearby Mabel's Paint Pot, or maybe even catch both the prince and princess out for a date night at one of the local pubs. All right guys, that's all I got on our tour of the two different homes of Prince William and Princess Kate Middleton, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. What did you think? Which of the two homes would you rather be living in right now? Do you think it makes sense that the family has chosen to hang out in the countryside during this long pandemic? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. And of course, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.